And then she paused and she was like, Bertha, what did I just see? Fucking sticker. That's the that's the only thing I can think of. A damn sticker. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Quest African Queen. And for today's video, this is my first ever story time on my channel. And um, we're gonna get into some things. This is not really a long story time, but it's quite interesting because if you are African, if you're African, you definitely know how African people feel about tattoos and piercings let me tell you because um just know most african parents don't approve of piercings and tattoos but for this video i'm just going to talk about tattoos so um before we get started um i need to kind of give you guys some context so you guys can understand like how this went about so first of all my parents most of this is mostly about my mom because honestly my dad don't care about piercings and tattoos he's actually very much not like a strict african parent he's a very chill person however my mom on the other side she is a very much strict parent but i can say she's also understanding but with certain things this woman is very strict and on top of that too i'm her only child like i'm her only biological biological child so sometimes i understand why she is um a bit strict okay so first of all my dad don't care my mom's the one that cares about you know these tattoos and these piercings second of all i live in the united states my mom doesn't live here. my mom lives back home in ghana so just keep that in mind as well as i tell the story because that also plays into some things so when I was 18 years old, um, actually I started college before turning 18. So in October of like 2016, I turned 18 and I was like, fuck it, I wanna get a tattoo. So I got my first tattoo. Um, I'm gonna put up like videos of what it looked like. But my first tattoo was just, um, it says strength and it's like right here. Um, I got it before, if it's gonna show. I got it before the addition of the cross and stuff, but it just said strength. And then that's when I got my actual first piercing, which was on my ear. Now, two years went by and of course my mom didn't know about the tattoo. My dad saw me, but I don't think he noticed that I had a tattoo because I had long sleeves, long sleeves on. Two years had gone by. I hadn't seen my mom, because that year in 2016, that summer I went to go see her, so that was before I got my tattoo. And the next time I saw my mom was actually in 2019. But let's, let's rewind a bit, let's rewind a bit. So, so <coughs> Jesus. So what had happened was, um, one day I was on WhatsApp video call, if you are my African, you already know the, the WhatsApp. You know WhatsApp. It's just like a form of communicating with people across the world for free. So um, they have this feature where you can basically video call them. And I was on the phone with my mom. I was video calling her. And let's say like I'm sitting here, right? And my phone is like way far, like six feet. And I had a short sleeve on, so like something like this. So me and her were talking i don't even know what i was doing but i did like a motion like this for like two seconds yo like it was not like no slow motion shit. it was like like this and then she paused and she was like bertha what did i just see i was like what are you talking about i'm like what what are you talking about she's like huh what did i just see like she was basically was asking me to lift up my arm I was like, oh no, nothing is there. It's just a sticker, my dumbass. A fucking sticker. That's the that's the only thing I can think of. A damn sticker, a whole sticker. Anyway, I was just like, it's a it's a sticker. It's a sticker. And then I was like bullshitting, and I was basically bullshitting. And she was like, before you come see me, make sure you erase that. And I was like, do you know how much it costs to remove a tattoo? She was like, you better find the money. 
you know, in, in the Ghana accent, I don't know how to do the Ghana accent unless I'm talking to somebody, but she's like, you better find the money. So, me dear, she didn't really say much about that afterwards. She, like, then started doing a whole preaching thing because, mind you, before this tattoo, I had started getting piercings and she does not like piercings at all whatsoever. So, she was talking about my piercings and uh, how, like, I'm, like, it's unholy and this and that and this and that and this and that and then she comes to see this. Okay, cool now let's let's kind of fast forward mind you i after this tattoo i got another tattoo so right now i actually have three tattoos but she don't know about the third tattoo but now okay let me let me organize this this story time well 2019 comes before i go to ghana like last december i got another tattoo on my leg um it's like near my ankle near my foot cool i get that tattoo and um my stepdad, so my stepdad was really cool with me having tattoos and she, he was like, it's just better for you to be who you are than to hide who you are. So he was trying to let my mom know like, she already has the tattoos, she already has the piercings. You already know her, she's not a bad person. Like she don't be doing like no crazy stuff. So just let her be her. My mom understood that she was like, okay. Like she pretended like she was gonna be cool with it. Then December 2019, I go back home I go back home and um, at first she pretends to be cool with it. She pretends to be okay with it. And like, you know, you know your own parents. Like when you, I know my mom. I know when she's not cool with things. I know when things are bothering her. So she pretended to be cool with it for like, let's say give it four days. And then four days later, um, on the fifth day, she comes to my room. Then this woman sits me down and start having conversations with me about this piercings and tattoo. And she was, she started asking questions. She was like, so, um, Bertha, are you, are you going to get it removed? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to get, get it removed. She was asking, so how much does it cost to get it removed? It's like, mom, I don't know how much it costs to get tattoos removed. And I'm not going to put something on my body and then get it removed unless I truly regret it, which I don't regret it. So, oh, um, I, before I actually went in 2019, I actually had the cross, like, I got the cross done. And so she, then she was like, then she made like a statement. She's like, in fact, I'm disappointed. I was just like, what, what am I supposed to do? It's already on my body. Like, what am I supposed to do? She's like, when I come to America and I have, I get money, you are going to get it removed. I was like, no, I'm not. She's like, you're going to get it removed. I was just like, no, I'm not going to get it removed. I might get more tattoos. She's like, more? Huh? More, more tattoos? No. Not underneath my roof. And I'm like, I don't live with you. <laughs> you are in Ghana and I'm here. And that's the problem because I have the freedom to kind of do anything and everything. But I'm very much respectful. Let me just pause that. I'm very much respectful on like how she feels about it. But like at the end of the day, it's my body. Like even when it came to the piercings when I went back home in 2019, um, I took some piercings off and I wasn't wearing certain piercings just to make her feel comfortable. But I was gonna put that shit right back on when I leave. So she was like, oh, in fact, when I come to America, I'm gonna pay for you to have it removed. I said, I'm not, I'm not getting it removed. And it was just a bit of back and forth and she just left it as it is. Now the issue is that, I have a third tattoo and y'all know if you already have a tattoo you know how addictive tattoos are and i'm not sitting here getting meaningless tattoos but um she was very much uncomfortable it was i was at an age where she wouldn't whoop my ass if i was much younger she probably would have beat my ass but thank god she did not do that other than that that was basically my story time about how my mom found out about my tattoos she wasn't really happy she wasn't pleased about it but we move and um i might just get more i don't know yet i don't know how she's gonna feel because after that conversation she does not know that i got another tattoo and um she don't watch my youtube so she, she don't even know about my youtube so don't worry me saying this is not gonna affect me or anything other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the story time on how my mother found out about my tattoos i thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed if you want to hear other story times i don't have much but i do have some story times um and let me know if how i can better my story time 
because this is my first time but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video make sure to also enter in my giveaway okay bye y'all